hello. So I'm building this deck, and I've never built a deck before. It's my first one. Uh, I've never really taken on a job quite this complex. And like a lot of people do, I watch YouTube videos to learn how to do it. And they were super helpful. Dr. Dex, definitely the best one, my favorite, but there were a lot of others that were super helpful. But one thing I figured out when I got started was they're experts. And they kind of assume some things sometimes that some of us that maybe haven't done a job before uh, wouldn't necessarily understand in advance. And with this video, I wanted to show you a few things that I learned along the way. The first thing was tools. It took so many tools to build this deck from everything from shovels to drills to speed squares to impact drills and so on and so on and so on. It's, it's just crazy. In fact, one of, them, one of the tools uh, that I didn't have that I ended up borrowing from somebody is an impact drill. And that's this little guy, not a DeWalt ad, just this is what we happen to have. And this is what it does. Saved a lot of time getting these screws in because they just, uh, and they're in, and they're gonna stay in. Um, so great tool, but one of many tools, uh, and I'll talk more about, about tools later or maybe on a different video. I have maybe more tools than the average bear because when my dad passed away, I got all his tools and he could fix anything or build just about anything. So tools, tools number one. The next thing I learned was that not all boards are equal. I'll just show an example of this one board of just how warped it is. It's just crazy. So that's not even a usable board, but you're going to get some of those. But more importantly is that even the board sizes from different manufacturers or different retailers aren't exactly the same. There's a two by 10, which is what I've got here for the floor joists, uh, vary in width. So the, most of the lumber, like from here over, uh, I got from Meeks, been pretty happy with it, fairly consistent. Although there's variations within that acceptable range, but I needed a few more boards over a weekend and I went over to Lowe's and picked these little guys up. They are, every one of them a little bit narrower than the ones that I got from Meeks. They're still within the acceptable specs, but they're all a little bit narrower. Nothing about Lowe's, that's just who they buy their lumber from, and it's a little narrower. So be really careful about lumber. I'd suggest you get all of it from the same place, if you can at the same time, because I did order all my lumber at the same time. I had to get some new boards because we changed a couple specs. Next thing is, get a permit and sometimes some cities they're a hassle some cities they're they're not too hard to work with uh, but there's some real benefits to getting a permit one is if you ask them they'll give you all the code related to the deck and you know how things have to be put together and their specific requirements for the, for the, your community uh, here in the little town i live in it's 14 pages just for building a deck when we know all those things is built right you know you're good Typically, it's three inspections. There's an inspection for when the footings get put in because they want to make sure those are deep enough. And the second inspection is framing. I'm just about to the point that I can call them for the framing inspection. And then third is when you're done and they want to make sure the railings are safe and it's built safe in general. The benefit to that is it'll be recorded at the city that you built a deck, that the city said yes, it was with code and accepted. You go to sell your house and you don't have a permit and it's not recorded, that buyer could say, how do I know that deck is safe? And then you end up hiring an engineer to verify, and if the engineer doesn't like how you made it, then you could blow up a sale and be in a whole world of hurt. So get a permit, work with the city. There was a time years ago, I used to work with Cook County in Illinois. That was a whole different story. So, so uh, buyer beware. I drew up just a very rudimentary plan uh, that I'll show in this video so you can see what I did. Uh, I was a little surprised they gave me a permit with what little I gave them, but they did. So that was great, but I couldn't really build a deck based on what I had on that, that uh, drawing. So I hired a draftsman to draw up the plan based on what I had, had turned into the city. He, he pulled up the city code for my town and he drew up the plans that will meet those codes. So that included everything like the, the size of the boards that had to be here, how the, you know, the depths of the footings, the, the posts, and so on and so forth. Really great, great plan. He did a great job. And I'm using that as my guide as, as I go through this. He doesn't fill in every single question. That's why you need the, the, in, the information from the city as well. But I really don't think I could have built this deck without having a plan. So I hired a draftsman. 
uh, not an architect or an engineer. Now I couldn't use an off-the-shelf plane, and I understand there are some good off-the-shelf plans, but I couldn't in my build because of some of the unique situations I had. One is I've got a cinder block foundation, which is not generally considered the best thing to, to attach a deck to. So we had to work through that, worked with the city because a lot of houses around here are built that way. Uh, so we have it set up so it's safe and meets code. I'm also building on a hill, which changes some of the specs. It changes the footing requirements and a few other things. And then of course, the reason we're building it is because of our nice backyard. And then third is some really, really crappy ground. It's mostly just clay and rock. So those nice pretty augers that, that you see advertised really didn't do a very good job here. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, I'm tying into an existing deck, existing stairway. So that's uh, a complication as well. But if you're trying to build a deck on nights and weekends and between family and other obligations, it's gonna take you a while. So give yourself the time, don't rush. Um, I've wanted to get this thing done a lot faster than it's been done, but I also want it to be here 20 years from now as well. So I'm taking my time. I think I'll do a separate video on tools because there are so many and some are obvious like a shovel, but there's even different kinds of shovels that will do a better job for you than, than other kinds of shovels. And then I've also got stairs to build. Never built stairs before. I've already figured out I, I probably should have uh, done something a little bit different in the framing to make that easier, but I'm not redoing the framing. We'll work with what we have and uh, end up with some good stairs. So here we are. Good luck on your build.